I'm sure a lot of like first gen, second gen Asian Americans can really relate to this as well. Like uh, there's a level, I'm an adult now, but there's a level of how scared I am of my mom in, in a, in a way of just like, I don't know, like I've always grown up in a space where like, you know, your mom's like scary, like, so, or like your parents are scary. And so I, and I know she was so proud when I like graduated from UC Berkeley and then I went to Amazon and I really just had this feeling of like, I didn't want to disappoint or like, I didn't want to feel like a disappointment to her. And so, um, and I knew that this was like the biggest way like of financially contributing back into the family of like the parents that have raised you and sacrificed everything. And so actually when I quit Amazon, I had not, I had not told her that I quit. Like, I, and I think that was like a solid eight months where I didn't actually tell her that I was like, I left the company and I was working on the startup. And then I especially didn't want to tell her that I was working on a sex toy startup. I'm living in SF now. And so she's down in LA and she, I just wasn't reaching out as often as I usually would. And she was like, Hey, is everything okay? Like, can I come up and like visit? And I knew that that was maybe the moment that we should actually have a conversation and actually tell her. So I think just also as like a little backstory of like why I was so scared of my body was like I had experienced sexual trauma as a child. And so there was this like a feeling of like that I didn't really deserve to like love my body in that way. And because it felt Mm -hmm. still associated to the trauma and like um, or like that I just didn't feel like I owned my body. And this was a thing that like my parents, like my family ended up knowing about growing up, but we really swept it under the rug. And so for me, it was like years of I highly recommend every like just years of therapy and just like working through that trauma. But I think the biggest thing was like my parents and I never talked about it after it had happened. And so when she came up to visit, I was like, okay, I'm just going to show her our office. Like at the time we were in a share, we had one desk at a shared office space with like 20 different companies. I had all these vibrators on the desk that are like torn down. Like some are like you know, like very phallic with veins and like all sorts of crazy stuff. And so she came and I was like, Hey, like, I just want to let you know, like I'm working on this uh, company and like, we're, we're doing it because we want to give people the power to like help them understand their body. And also it feels like a journey for me to like, feel like I'm fully embraced in my own sexuality and like all of that. And she was like really quiet. And I was, I was really genuinely ready to be like, I don't know, have to deal with like the awkward silence of like her thing with me for like a couple of days or whatever. And then she was like, you know, like when I was younger, I used to own a vibrator. And I was like, <gasps> wow. oh, okay. <laughs> and then uh-huh. for the next two hours, we talked about our sex lives. Like wow. she asked me when I lost her virginity. And then I like, we were talking so openly about like just everything. Like she was giving me advice. I was giving her advice. Like it was like, the most beautiful, disgusting thing I've <laughs> ever done. Wow. Cause, yeah, because it's so much in the sense of like, it's beautiful that I, that's a conversation I never thought I'd have with my mom. But then it's, it's disgusting because, you know, at the end of the day, it's still your mom. And like, I've learned so many things that I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> where do I output this into the world? Like, yeah. I have to take it to my grave situation. <laughs> but... <laughs> And then, um, so she was, and I remember like just talking at the very end, she was like, you know, like, I always wondered like if you were going to be okay or like what would happen if you were ever going to be able to feel like comfortable with your own body or like be in a relationship, like all these things And she was like, I'm just so glad that like you're okay. And I was like, yeah, like, honestly, like I'm like happy. Like I feel like I'm in a really good place. And I told her like, I definitely had like went through like my mental health journey and like gone through therapy and like all that. But like, I was like, this feels like kind of the biggest next steps for me to feel super just in control of my own body. And so it was so nice to have that conversation, even though we didn't even talk about it, like super in detail, like even just to have that to that interaction at that point, I think it really just settled a lot of things. And like, I will say like, Obviously, my mom is still an Asian mom at heart. She wants me to go back to corporate America and like <laughs> get a get a quote unquote real job. <laughs> so she's asking me all the time. But I think there's a level of like understanding that she's gotten from it. And I think as we've been in this company, we've been doing this company for six, seven years, like she understands like 
like this is what I've been really working on and and all of that. So when we had our first product, like we were working for two years on developing our first product. I was in China, like I grabbed that first package that came off the line and I like flew back to LA and I was like, hey, I was like, I gave it to my mom because I was like, this is super. I was like, I, if you've ever, ever wondered like why I'm like not sleeping, not eating, like all these things, like this is the product that I've been working on. So do I know if she's used it? No. Do I want to know? <laughs> you have not really. It up. <laughs> <laughs> she she has, has her own data. She's, I know. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly it. As I'm like, okay, our, like we have really strict privacy policies. Cause I was like my people that own it, that I don't want to know if they use it, you oh, know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so I feel grateful that we are, I think in an understanding space and like my now my grandparents know about it my dad knows about it my brother's always been like a number one supporter from the early days so yeah so it's been it's been definitely nicer than expected because I know that's like a fear that a lot of us talk about is like what are my parents going to think like can I really do this jump that is a career that my parents won't understand for sure 